improve communication, reduce errors, and increase product quality. Hey everyone, this is Paul with Go Engineer. These are just some of the benefits that we will cover in this deep dive look of SolidWorks CAM 2020. For SolidWorks users who are not familiar with the term or capabilities of SolidWorks CAM, it is the acronym for Computer Aided Manufacturing. Fully integrated inside the SolidWorks environment, SolidWorks CAM leverages your CAD design to generate 3D dynamic milling and lathe toolpath. And CNC code output is easily managed by SolidWorks CAM's built-in NC editor so that you can machine your part. This proven feature-based technology is from CAMWorks, which has been a SOLIDWORKS Gold partner since 1997. CAM standard is included to all users of SOLIDWORKS who take advantage of active subscription service. This includes both 2.5 axis and basic 3 axis programming of parts as well as tolerance based machining. CAM Professional opens the door to assembly programming, 3 plus 2, and tombstone machining. Configurations, 2.5 axis volume mill, high speed machining, and turning for CNC lathe applications. Let's take a look at probe tools and probing operations. When programming and machining components, such as this transmission housing, there are always challenges due to many critical features and precise tolerances. What if we want to verify the position of a machine feature for in-process inspection or create a new work coordinate system offset based upon the new location of that machined feature? New for SOLIDWORKS CAM 2020, probe tools and probing operations are now included which saves time and avoids costly mistakes during the machining process. Supported features include single point in X Y and Z axis, pocket and pocket with island features, boss and circular boss features, as well as hole features. In this first example, I want to verify the location of my actual material stock by creating a probing operation. Simply right mouse click anywhere in the mill part setup one operation tree and access the Technology Database Tooling Library to view an extensive listing of probe tools available. After tool selection is confirmed, I then have the option to utilize defaults from the Technology Database or a customized one of my choosing. The Intuitive Tool tab of the Operation Parameters dialog gives you the ability to review or modify the tool, its corresponding holder, the active tool crib, and its current station position. The feed speed tab can be defined by operation or tool and display the current feed rate travel of the active probe tool. The probe tab allows you to measure in X, Y, or Z. And the probe cycle easily allows you to select a single feature or features of your part. The probe parameters for clearance and XY over travel prevents costly damage to your probe tool. Additional capabilities of updating the work coordinate system offset are just a few clicks to determine specific fixture, work coordinate, or work and sub coordinate systems. Selection of Z depth, X, or Y locations by default. Entity or setup origin is easy as well. Global settings for rapid, clearance, and probe cycle planes of this current operation ensure that your probe tool remains in one piece. And should you have any logic built into your Go Engineer supplied custom post processor, information will be displayed on the posting tab. Going back to the probe tab, I would like to register the back corner edge of the stock material. Simply select a single face for X and a single face for Y, then update the operation parameters by selecting preview. The 
Verification is easy by using Simulate Toolpath or, as shown here, Step Through Toolpath. Once everything is validated, let's make it official by selecting OK. Returning back to the Operations tree, it's easily repositioned by a simple left mouse click, drag and drop to its new location. In the second example, this bore feature is critical as its relationship to the location of the machined O-ring groove and bolt circle pattern ensures a proper seal. I will be using another probing operation to establish G55 work coordinate system offset after the bore 1 operation. Since we will be using the same probe tool, I'm going to select OK for the new operation. After selecting the probe tab, I want to specify a three-point bore probe cycle. Select the inside diameter face, then preview to update the operation parameters dialog, then step through toolpath to validate its movement. Once done, I'll update the work coordinate system offset to work coordinate G55. In this final example, the depth of the O-ring groove is critical to the top machine face. We can use another probing operation to verify or reset our tool length offset from this machine face. This will be inserted after our face mill 1 operation. Again, we will be using the same probe tool, so I'm going to select OK for the new operation. After selecting the probe tab, I want to measure in Z, specify single face probe cycle, select the top machine face of the part, and preview to update the operation parameters dialog. Finally, step through toolpath to validate its movement. And there you have it. Probe tools and probing operations for SOLIDWORKS CAM 2020 not only saves time, but it also avoids costly mistakes during the machining process. Go Engineer has decades of experience helping companies succeed using cutting-edge, industry-leading manufacturing tools. We are the experts with this technology and are passionate to help you leverage the power of SOLIDWORKS CAM for your machine shop or prototyping lab. If you would like to learn more about how SOLIDWORKS CAM can improve your manufacturing process, please contact us here at Go Engineer. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and click on the subscribe button below. This is Paul with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.